Hey everyone, Harrison here. I've got a new one from Imelin. It's the MS08 maximum of 34,000 lumens. A bit of a different uh, different torch here, so I'm pretty excited to get into it. But before I do, I'll let you know what you get in the pack, and then yeah, we'll dive straight into the torch. Da -da -da -da. First of all, comes in a nice box, like that, and you get your torch. Huge, huge face on it. Kind of the size of like a Coke can sort of torch. Massive, massive um, amount of LEDs in there with a huge amount of output. Like I said, 34,000 lumens. You also get a holster with it, which is sort of the top side holster. Bit of a bulky thing. They do say EDC on their um, page. I wouldn't really want to carry this around on my hip all day, every day, but if you're someone that wants to carry around a large torch or you just need to know that you can, uh, yeah, they've included a nice big sort of beefy, quite quite sturdy holster for it, which is great. Now, you also get your Imolent user manual with all your modes and your outputs and predicted run times in there, which is great. They also give you a couple spare O-rings, two charging cables, which I'll get into in just a second, and a spare screw, which I'll also just get into right now. So. What sort of sets this uh, torch aside from the massive amount of output is it's got this like sort of outer skin, outer casing that's got a fan included on it. Um, not too sure if you can sort of see that. So we've got one fan here and one fan on the other side. And to turn that on, it's just a single press on the bottom. And you can kind of hear it going there in the background and a single press off. So you actually can charge this whole case separately and charge the torch as well. So the torch is running off three 21700 batteries. So tons of runtime there and lots and lots of output. The cool thing I like about the case is, I mean, it sort of adds that little extra protection to the torch. Even though it does have a one meter shock proof, uh, sort of shock resistance, uh, I think it'd be a lot more than that just because of the outer casing. It's a great idea, similar to your phone and things like that, that you have an extra case for. I mean, if you've got a pretty expensive torch, if you want to keep it nice and clean and like sort of scratch proof and everything like that, a little external case is just, yeah, a really, really nice touch from Immolent. To take it off though, really simple, just one little screw. Just uh, screw on the opposite end of the um, charging port is where you unscrew that little screw from. Torch slips out and then you have your case and your torch all separate and that's where you get to your batteries in here so not only does it stop you from your hand getting a little bit warmer i did use it at night so i didn't really notice it too much too hot at all but from the front just because it's so bright you can feel the heat so if you're using it for a longer period of time the case would actually sort of act as almost like a heat sink for your hand as well which is uh yeah another great design feature so that's really light. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be carrying around a really heavy case at all. So I think it's, yeah, it's just a great little feature that they've included. And um, I think, yeah, a few other brands start doing it. It would be really, really cool. This has got an inbuilt battery at the back of the case here where you, obviously you can charge, like I said before. So it's just a fixed battery here in the back. It's gonna take about two and a half hours to fully charge that, but it's going to give you ages uh, runtime. Yeah, I had it on for quite a while last night and uh, yeah, I think I've got still tons of runtime left in that. So like I said before, it's running on eight Cree XHP 70 second gen LEDs, uh, which are just massive LEDs that just really, really pack a punch. And that's how they so can get those massive outputs with really good run times being spread over so many LEDs. It's also got thermo control. Uh, so even though, even though there is a fan there, if it is getting too hot, it will drop down and save itself. So just something to keep mindful if you keep going to that turbo and it can't get there, that's why. Memory function, which is another great feature. So you can sort of set your mode on that you want it to come on and off at. Uh, so whether that sort of be in the middle or even the high or the lows. So that's a great feature. You've got instant turbo with a quick double tap of that power button, which I found most useful. It's like when you sort of come out to a clearing or you just want an absolute mountain of light, um, you can just quickly tap that and it just goes, yeah, goes straight into the turbo. Lockout function, uh, which is great for a large, very high powerful torch. If you're wanting to put this away or even in the holster, 
you definitely want that thing locked out because it will get hot and yeah it will be a sort of a fire hazard so definitely lock it out after every use and then yeah you're the only one that can sort of use it because you know how to use it strobe mode uh so that's just a sort of a quick three taps and you get straight onto your strobe mode one meter impact resistant uh i reckon that might be a little bit extra just because of this exo sort of uh case here that they have here which is yeah just awesome ipx eight rated so it's two meters submersible underwater not too sure if that's with or without the case so you may want to check that but yeah really solid waterproof rating they got double o-rings on the battery terminal there so you know that no water's going to get in with that's nice and tight it's about 650 grams including the battery so definitely not a light torch uh by any means uh like i said before they are sort of marketing as an edc whatever that means um because yeah, I don't think I'd be wanting to carry this every day, but nice they put it in a holster so you can probably mount that to your bag or mount that to anywhere. And yeah, you know it's sort of going to be safe in there as long as you sort of lock it out. So yeah, I don't think the holster is a bad thing at all, uh, especially with the different mounting options at the back there. Trying off those three 21700s and you have to take the case off to get to the batteries and they're just sort of straight in there like that. You can run it on other 21700s, but yeah, Emlyn obviously recommend running it on their batteries. So dimensions on this one is about 125 mils in length. So like I said, kind of that Coke can size. You've got a head diameter of 74 mils and a body of 51 mils. So the body is a little bit skinnier than the head. Um, it's got a massive orange peel reflector. So this thing is all flood. And yeah, it does a great job at it too. If you like those stubby lights, like those stubby search lights, um, yeah, this one's definitely right up your alley, especially with this really nice XO case. Uh, yeah, just adds a really cool feature to it. Max intensity is claiming around that 136,000 candela. Um, so not a really great hotspot, but it does spread the light absolutely everywhere. They do have a few in this range. I've got the MSO3 and MSO6, which are both great lights. Huge outputs, running on some Cree chips as well. Um, and then this one's just sort of the next one up in that sort of family, I suppose, the MSO8. So all fantastic, high output, really, really nice torches. Outputs and run times though. So on the low mode of 300 lumens, which is a massive low mode. I felt that, yeah, it was just super bright as is. Uh, you could easily walk around with that um, and also get some sort of penetrating distance as well. So 300 lumens, more than enough on that low. You jump up to your medium low, they're calling it, it's around 700 lumens. And yeah, you get tons of runtime on that and it is bright. Because it's coming out of so many emitters, uh, I didn't find that one got too hot out the front or on the sides or anything like that. So I didn't have to run the uh, fan, but yeah, it's a huge amount of light, massive run time on that medium low. You jump up to medium one, 2000 lumens, you get about four or five hours on that, which is a yeah, huge amount of output. Uh, it's just gonna pretty much light everything up on those medium modes. Jump up again to medium two is 5000 lumens for an hour and a half. Now these are jumping into some really, really bright territory now. So medium two is, yeah, a great light output, especially an hour and a half runtime is huge. Jump up to high, which is 10,000 lumens. You're going to get about an hour's runtime with that. And again, I mean, huge output. That's when it sort of starts to get a little bit warm. So you're going to want to run that fan, keep it as cool as possible. When I was sort of out uh, testing this one at night, um, having a little play around, it, was, it wasn't cool, cool. It was probably sort of, high teens in the 20s and um yeah i didn't feel it getting hot at all so um, i reckon that's sort of the temperatures that we would do really well at if you were getting in the hotter climates sort of like that 25 plus 30 range um yeah you'd want to be keeping that fan on and then you got your turbo mode is your 34,000 lumen burst for about 45 seconds and then it's going to sort of dip back down and yeah, you want to use that as a burst because it is super bright and depending on what you're shining it at, it might even wash it out. But if you do have a, quite a large open space, it'll light up absolutely everything. I found like when you sort of get quite close or you're in something really, really dense, those light outputs, those high turbo outputs are not necessarily as good as the lower output modes that sort of penetrate through that. But if you have a wide open space, gee, that uh, 34,000 lumens is impressive. So yeah, I mean, Emlyn have just made a really 
really nice torch for the upgraded of the MO6. So if you, if you want something a little bit brighter, then yeah, the MSO8 is uh, yeah just your great option, especially with the orange pill reflector. Like I said, it's just like a whitewash, so it's really nice and floody, lights up everything, um, and yeah. They're claiming about 700 and something meters. Uh, I reckon do a little bit less than that. Sort of around that four or 500 meters would be really, really good. Uh, but yeah, it is going to light up all of it. So you might see it washed out, sort of uh, disappearing in the sides there out at that distance. Uh, but yeah, if you've got some th things closer by, uh, yeah, it's going to light it up massively. With this added case, exo sort of skeleton style, I think it's just a really great feature that they've sort of added. I mean. If you're in really cold climates, you might not have to run it. Um, but if you're in the warmer climates, uh, yeah, I'd definitely, uh, definitely say run it. But I mean, it's just sort of a great accessory, really. I mean, if some other brands sort of start going down this route, um, they could really make some really nice, robust, sort of very customizable cases for their torch. And you can still use the torch at the same time. So really, really nice. Um, everything's sort of open to you. So you've got your charging port there, whether it's on or off. Um, again with the bottom one and yeah the power button I didn't find hard to get to when the case is on it's a little bit further in but yeah I didn't find it a drama at all so all in all I think the MSO8 from um, Immolent is just yeah fantastic searchlight um, I'm loving the case feature I really want to see it sort of in some other torches in some other bigger lights even some smaller lights would actually be quite cool so yeah, I wonder if they'll, this will be something they'll bring it out in the future or not. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think about the case, whether you like it, whether you hate it, or um, yeah, whether you'd rather see it sort of customizable in any other way. Thanks for watching this one. I'll drop a link to the MSO8 below so you can check out the whole Immolent range. They've got some great products there and yeah, definitely worth a look. So thanks for watching this one. Please feel free to like, subscribe to the video, uh, the channel it really helps us out. So. Thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.